What is going on everybody? It is that time of year that I make my top 10 teams to rebuild for Madden. This is the perfect time to make this video because Madden 21 Early Access launches today, but it also very much applies to all of you sticking with Madden 20 this year because they did not add any new features to franchise mode. So if you are sticking behind, I hope this video applies to you and helps you pick some good teams to rebuild as well, whether you're using an updated roster for console or playing with mods on PC. The criteria for this list is going to have some different teams, some different play styles and options for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please do hit that like button down below. And I did actually rank these in order of how fun and interesting I think they would be. And for the number 10 spot on my list, we are going to go with the Miami Dolphins with Tua Tungavailoa under center. This is going to be your typical blank slate type of rebuild. You've got the quarterback supposedly in place. You're going to have to get used to playing with a left-handed quarterback. You've got some receivers to build around, but certainly a position across the board as far as skill players and offensive line is going to be a work in progress. And then you're going to want to implement this Bill Belichick, Brian Flores defense, the hybrid linebackers on the outside. Continue to build through the secondary as many of these Belichick teams do. If you can just figure out that free safety position, maybe eventually upgrade Eric Rowe, you're in very good position to do that and see what uh, Noah Igbenogany, your first round pick, can turn into. One last thing that makes the Dolphins an intriguing team is you are going to have lots of picks in the first year, four picks in the top two rounds. So you'll have lots of freedom to build this team. Next up is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals, another team that's going to be very popular here. You've got a lot to prove with Zach Taylor here, who was a little bit disappointing in his first season as the Bengals coach, but now you will have your quarterback in place. Building here around Joe Burrow, you really do have the skill players to work with. You have a superstar running back in Joe Mixon, an aging A.J. Green that you hope can eventually be overtaken by a guy in T. Higgins, who this team spent the 33rd pick in the draft on. And then can you get John Ross to reach his potential as a top 10 pick several years ago, uh, obviously with that burning speed? Fixing this offensive line will be an issue, but at least on the defensive side of the ball, you will have a lot to work with. I love the young linebackers here. All complement themselves very well between Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt, and Akeem Davis Gaither. Nice combination of skill sets. You have one of the deepest defensive lines in place already with Lawson, Atkins, Reeder, Dunlap. Even a guy in Sam Hubbard can play. They have Mike Daniels now. And then the secondary is something you'll want to build up. They do have a good safety duo in Von Bell and Jesse Bates and a good corner in William Jackson. Some Band-Aids, a corner from Minnesota, but it's really going to be uh, some developing that you are responsible for on the defensive side of the ball. Overall, I think the Bengals are a good combination of a fun team to play with that also has some rebuilding challenges. And it's always nice to take advantage of that rookie contract, as many teams in real life are doing. Next up, we are going to mix it up from the young quarterback vibe and rebuild the Minnesota Vikings. Under Mike Zimmer, just got a contract extension here, but Zimmer and this team are in a weird window right now. They just traded away superstar receiver Stefan Diggs. Adam Thielen is getting up there in age. You have a superstar running back in Dalvin Cook on the final year of his contract and a quarterback in Kirk Cousins that, let's just say, leaves some excitement on the board but is under contract for a while here. One interesting thing about this Vikings team that I like is you have a nice foundation of young offensive linemen that fit this scheme. I recommend giving Ezra Cleveland and Brian O'Neill at least star development, lower Pat Elf line, not sure what that's about EA, but you'll have an athletic offensive line to build around. I really like these three guys, the future there, and then you'll have a decision to make on what you want to do with Kirk Cousins in the future. Defensively, you also have a lot of tough decisions to make, and you don't have a lot of cap space to play with with this team. Anthony Harris is a rising star safety in the final year of his contract. You have a lot of veteran players here aging out. Anthony Barr, Harrison Smith. What will this Vikings defense look like for you in the future? That will be in your hands. Next up, another really interesting one, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers under Bruce Arians. 
this will be a truly unique rebuild as you look to get the Super Bowl that this team wants to win, bringing 93-year-old Tom Brady into the building. You have all of the offensive weapons in the world. You have a decent offensive line, but something you want to build up. Defensively, you've got a lot of young players here. I love the young talent in the secondary with guys like Antoine Winfield, Jamel Dean, and Sean Murphy Bunting specifically, and these linebackers between Levante David and Devin White. Certainly some pieces to build up as far as the pass rush. What do you want to do with Shaq Barrett long term? But a Bucks rebuild will be a healthy balance of trying to win now, but also sustaining this team's success for the future. And how long does Bruce Arians stay in place here? Do you consider hiring a new coach once Tom Brady retires? And speaking of Tom Brady, our next rebuild will be the New England Patriots. A fascinating rebuild. You know Bill Belichick is not going to just throw in the tank this season, but maybe this team just doesn't have enough talent to win enough games for you and you do end up picking one of these top quarterbacks. Defensively, you are witnessing a change over a year and a lot of turnover on the roster. I'd like the young edge players, Josh Uche and Fernie Jennings. Hightower is gonna have to miss your first season if you follow the COVID pro protocols. And your secondary is getting older. Stephon Gilmore, despite being a 99 overall, will turn 30 after your first season. But you do have some exciting young corners to build behind him in J.C. Jackson and Jonathan Jones. Most importantly, what does the future hold for Cam Newton here? Is he just a one-year band-aid? Can he live in Tom Brady's shoes and get you a Super Bowl in year one? There's really a lot of different ways that this rebuild can go. But the post-Tom Brady era is definitely a fun storyline to craft for yourself in Madden this fall. Next up was our last rebuild here on this channel, the Carolina Panthers' new rules under Matt Rule. This is an exciting rebuild, a team that's doing a good job to build a new culture and establish the mentality that they want to win now, but realistically a team that probably will not compete too much in your first season. Do you end up getting a Trevor Lawrence or a Justin Fields to build this offense around and this young defense that went all defense in the draft? You have plenty of youth and specifically a really exciting young D line to build this defense around. What do you want to do with Jeremy Chin, a freak athlete, strong safety? Do you move him to linebacker? Do you move him to free safety? Lots of options to do with Jeremy Chin. Overall, this is a blank slate type of rebuild that can be competitive right away with Teddy Bridgewater or could lead to a rough first season to which you would then bring in a exciting young quarterback to work with, frankly, a good slate of weapons and promising young defense. Next up, you knew this team was going to make the list. One of the hype teams of the 2020 season, the Arizona Cardinals. I don't need to go much further here. This team is ready to try and win right now, and this would be one of the more fun teams on the list just to play with. You get Kyler Murray, one of the more fun quarterbacks to use in this game. You've got a plethora of well-versed receiving threats. Your traditional number one in Hopkins, your traditional slot in Christian Kirk, your big body slot in Larry Fitzgerald, a speedster to develop in Andy Isabella, a red zone threat in Hakeem Butler. A lot of pieces to rebuild on the offensive line to be sure will give you enough of a challenge here. But then on defense, you have some really exciting pieces to build around. You still have a superstar pass rusher in Chandler Jones, an athletic linebacker duo between Jordan Hicks and Isaiah Simmons. Simmons, an interesting piece that you'll want to use a little bit as a safety, a little bit as a linebacker. Buda Baker just became the highest paid free safety in the league. And you still have some corners to work with here. What do you do with an aging Patrick Peterson? And can you develop Byron Murphy into a star corner? Defense and offensive line going to be your biggest needs here. Just load it up and have fun. Next up, staying in the NFC West with the LA Rams under Sean McVay. This one makes the list pretty high here for me because this is going to look a lot different than most of these rebuilds. Somewhat similar to the Minnesota Vikings where you're going to face a tough team building challenge here. A really difficult combination of a non-athletic quarterback that is always a little more challenging to play with in Madden who also happens to be on one of the largest contracts in the league here with Jared Goff. That is all going to be combined with the fact that you also have to pay Aaron Donald and very soon will have to pay Jalen Ramsey top, top dollar. 
Cap space will be few and far between for you with this team, and to make it even more difficult, you do not have a first round pick in the upcoming season because of the Jalen Ramsey trade. So if you want a challenging rebuild that'll force you to play differently, I highly recommend giving the LA Rams a try. But if done correctly, you could be left in a really rewarding situation with a really fun team to play with, especially on the defensive side of the ball with your combination of Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey leading the charge. Into the top two now, our next rebuild will be the very fun Denver Broncos led by Vic Fangio. This will be a plug and play fun rebuild for you. Still some team building challenges as your offensive line is just average. And defensively, you'll have some pretty tough decisions to make on some of these aging veterans. Von Miller, Kareem Jackson, A.J. Bouye, Jarrell Casey, some of the biggest names on this defense. Even Alexander Johnson, who emerged last year for this team, is 28 years old. So do you transition this team to being an explosive Chiefs-like offense here with a unproven but athletically gifted mobile quarterback with a big arm and Drew Locke who will be throwing to one of the most fun receiving cores in the game with Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, KJ Hamler with some speed, and Noah Fant along with two good running backs to get the ball to. This is an open playground type of rebuild that would be a ton of fun to hop in and play right away. And my number one team on the list is going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. I highly recommend tanking the first season because that is what this team appears to be doing in real life. Unless you are a huge believer in Gardner Minshew and want to build this team around him and see what he can do here in year two. Doug Marone for me is not long for this world as the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I again recommend simming the first season, seeing how bad you do, and finding a new coach for this team. Whether or not you stick with Gardner Minshew, that's up to you, but you have some offensive options to build around with DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault, D.D. Westbrook, definitely some holes on the offensive line. What do you do with Leonard Fournette, but lots of room to basically take this in any direction you want on the offensive side of the ball. Potentially, would you lead this team with a Trevor Lawrence in the future? And then defensively, can you return this team to glory? You have a decision to make on Yannick Ngakwe. How well can you develop this athletic pass rushing duo of Caleb on Chesson, Jonathan Allen, and Taven Bryan, all first round picks over the last few years? And how can you salvage this secondary that has gone from you know first to worst almost in this league very quickly? Lots of work to do on this team, but the cherry on top for this team is you will have an extra first round pick to get it done. That'll be coming from the Rams for Jalen Ramsey. So I appreciate everyone for watching. Please do hit that like button down below. Enjoy your rebuilds. Cheers, and we'll see you for the next one. Peace out.